seven. You uh, let the play out first look on the Ross Point Edition. James is just on sale at the moment. Should be bundled somewhere else. Um, survival, RPG, indeed. Oh, why not? Um, let's look. You lost your memories after a freak snow slide. Your survive saviour from that day is now your nom nomad family. The day is just like any other. You're out hunting in the forest and your companion and good friend Jerome. You wake up in the woods surrounded by snow and a massive old tree. The cold wind is blowing in your face and your arms and legs are chilled to the bone. You feel a gentle tap on your shoulder. It's Joe Rome waking you up. Wake up. A beast took the bait. We sat. He smiles and whispers, come on. We feel confused. And the white glowing snow disorient boots. Yeah. Before I take you. You managed to get down to your feet. The old man looks at you with a friendly smile waiting for the brain to start waking you. Beast and could, pretend, could provide food for your family for several days. I will take the shot of this. Waha! My hunting skill is awesome. You should really draw your bow point near at the deer's head. You hold your breath and shoot. It's a perfect shot. The deer falls to the snow with a lot of sound. Perfect shot. That's exactly why I wanted you to come with me. Let's grab our dinner. Our own store is walking to the deer carcass. We step closer to the deer. There's now another deer is slowly turning red. Today's dinner will be a feast. Let's head back. He looks at the sun. It's not even noon yet. Next we'll find some other chores for us to do. You can be sure of that. We tie the deer to a strong pole and head back to camp. Drone talking the whole way back. Clearly excited by the success of the hunt. <coughs> the map is divided into nodes. Click on the nearby nodes. Move towards it. Here we want some food and one hour food will put really to the death of your whole group. Well, by the looks of this, I only have the one note, so I'm ready there. You already see your tents off your camp of drone and drop the deer to the ground. Well, we're going to eat deer for dinner, trail smile and put something on each other. Well, 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 something. Boring? Got a name, but okay. Here's behind you, you brought back a week's worth of food. Where are the others around? See Hector coming out of his tent, he doesn't look well. They're hunting south of here, you should know. Imra. He can't stand to do nothing. Um. <laughs> oh well. But I had to cuss a couple of times before speaking again. Just go. 
Is the high chance to trigger an inevitable event, or even fast. The first season is relatively there for the next ball, so I think it should be both simple and simple. Success! I found fur, timber, animal fat, and meat. Meat's always good. It's some time to do anything. I haven't done anything now, but fill the whole thing in the value and you can wear them. from the trees with some game. Take all! This is the craft menu here, you can combine two items into a new one. You can click here to see the schematics you know, neat schematics can be brought from traders around the world. Right, so. And I'm off uh, Planes have become 
too dangerous, and then we should probably leave. I won't be pretty much out of risk without a reason, and travelling far from any name routes is a huge risk, especially the only things we know is that we're going south. To do that, I have two children. Hector is becoming an I already said that the planes are becoming dangerous. You don't want a red horseman clan to attack us and enslave the survivors, do you? It's better to walk on the mantle for the entire winter than to face them. The sooner we run away, the safer. Yeah, let's run away like you little cowards. That's what I thought. We're not eager to walk on the unknown routes either, but at least we won't have to face the Red Horseman. Am I the only one we're working for now? Yeah, we're running into the unknown. Um. Yeah. Yeah, because no one has ever got killed by not knowing what he's about. What? Because no one has ever got killed by not knowing what he was about to face. Do you like. Do as you like, but I already know we're all going to regret this, quite probably. And you are a bit miserable. And I thought I was miserable. There he goes inside a tent before giving anyone a chance to say anything. I'll talk to her. I'm worried too, but facing the Red Horseman scares me even more. If you will understand of anyone. <coughs> Hector coughs a little before replying. I hope so. I don't want to discuss this ever again. Why well, you can't tell us, I don't know, but mm, maybe we'll find out. Nothing of important happens the rest of the evening. You go to bed and pray yourself the next day. You wake up in the morning hearing voices from outside. Hector and the others are preparing the plan for the day. Okay, people. So now we will spread out in pairs and search for anything useful in that small town in the area over there. Be especially on the lookout for any tools. Then we will stay here with the children and guard our stuff if anything happens. Scream. Yeah, that's probably going to happen. We'll go with your own, Gordon. You will go with Mark. Make the chance to you, and you will go to Demit Demetra? Demetra? They are clearly not English names. There is like no Dave, Joe, Jack, John, or Smith. I hope it won't be a waste of time when Gordon puts on his backpack. I'm tired of seeing only empty buildings. Uh, let's go there. Tools and anything we can sell or use, but I won't complain if you bring back an assault rifle. Maybe there's a gun shop. It's an ancient town. There's a lot of buildings there. I hope we find something different. Just standard. Anything left behind. Let's go! As he knows nothing. And my food is tanking. The farm. So. Let's loot the farm. Kevin didn't like hunting, but. He said she needed to pack over the world, and I can't. Kevin didn't the best way to take it. Items for crafting and resources. Continue. Always pay attention to the danger of mother, don't more dangerous places, the higher chance of triggering an egg trip at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Traveling through the white race, see an old farm. Even if, if it was scavenged plenty of times already, perhaps the loot has missed something worth them. Well, danger making looks higher than the loot, which is never a good sign, but I'm going to loot it anyway. Success! You found cloth, sewing kit, leather. Um, take it all. Close to natural, we should head back to camp. Dimitri stops in her tracks. We're getting the shivers all over and it's not from the guard. There's something dark out there waiting for us to close our eyes and take us by surprise. Um, you know, that some sensation just can't be suppressed. There is something dreadful ahead of us, I just know it. We'll stay vigilant. Let's just hope keeping our eyes open will be enough to face whatever awaits us. Better move while it's still sunlight. 
You reach camp after a few hours. Goran spots you from a distance and raises his hand. Britain, you, you see sadness in his face. Ah, that's not a good sign. What's going on? It's not easy. Goran takes a deep breath. Hatred is badly sick. He's passed out a few hours ago. He's in his tent now, barely able to breathe. Ah, uh, sugar. Uh, this reaction is difficult when you have no medical supplies for this kind of sickness and it's pretty far gone. If you draw on a big mistake, his face is painted and suffering. As far as you know, the impacts are over and good friends. We will go around next to this attempt to smile. Mark finally asks the question of another one. How is he? In that moment, Himra comes out of the tent. Her own size. It's over, there's nothing we can do. Oh my god. Why did he say I think about that? You know, hit me with the door of the park. And then we'll just stop it. The process is going to be a minute and bring his head to speak. Prepare the body for the funeral. You could tear it. It's a rest. It was going around while Jerry was being inside. Two of you are now left. Met Hector more than 20 years ago. And yet, he said nothing. It's only one to me. He just died and left the mess behind him. Tomorrow, the Lord put him on the only way to the moon. So it's okay, I'll set all of them pick you. Now I'll bet tomorrow we'll go crazy again and try to keep the walls from leaving. I'll kill you with Dick. Sorry for your loss, I guess. Thank you. When I see more friends die in my time, I'm lucky to be old, but I hope they're alright. I'm just going to go and come to the moon. I need to be alone. I'm Everything is ready for you. Everyone gathers around. It's a blaze, shrouding Hector's body in a dance of bright light. Graham says nothing. Just the sadness on his face is still unmistakable. He just stands in front of the fire and stays there until everyone else is gone. So you're tired, proceed to your tent and begin in your path. It's terrible. Little scream is here from the middle of the night. It's a strange fire. 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 Yay! During the terrain fights, you will have to combine different actions in order to abilities. Your action pool is determined by the equipment and skill of your body. Every turn you draw 12 actions in your pool. Click on the Actions is like to combine them. Lower area, you see if the current combination is controlled by your ability. Actions have three different tiers of level bronze, silver, gold. The higher the tier, the more powerful the ability is effect. When a fight, bring your opponent's, hero, opponent's HP to zero. Lose morale won't lead to any direct defeat, but the more morale a party lose, the less damage it will deal. Raise morale on the other hand will improve damage out. Penalty actions cannot be combined with other actions, so the more penalties you have, the less useful the actions you will be able to come back here on soon once per turn to add actions to your purple. Block are also used standard abilities using the fire. Right. So I have compound bow and a fiber bow. Still high. So I can go. Two more damage. That was a really, really, really small decrease to the amount of health these things have. Um, threaten. Right, can't combine. Use the enemy's morale. Cold snipe. Can't combine with them. 
Uh, I'm getting shot at. I'm looking, I'm gonna die. Seems to be quite a few of them. Zero morale, but morale doesn't do anything, so... Well... That was a good game! Oh, my buddy is dead. You feel weak and you, you try to crawl on the ground, but each maneuver feels, move causes your body to explode in pain. You try to stay awake, but soon your willpower weakens and you pass out. After that, there is only darkness. You don't know how long you stay unconscious. Strange dreams creep into your dormant mind. Dreams of different places and different times. You see a shiny tower raising towards the sky. A piece of technology you've never seen in the white wasteland. Technology plugged into the ancient broken world. Hey, wake up. You okay? You heard your own voice. You finally realize you've been dreaming on this. Suddenly, realization brings you back to the waking world. Uh, what happened? Well, the situation is pretty messed up. Just take a look around. You look around in the morning. The sun blinds you at first, but then you're able to see that you and your mates are sitting in the garage tied up. You're not the only prisoners. There are others here to share that seem to share in your situation. Armed bandits guard the area. You can see many tents scattered around, so it is difficult to assess how many of them there are. Running away won't be easy. They have guns and everything else. They need to keep up with us in our way. You will never escape. We tried, but there was too many of them, and they have horses and guns. If they want us alive, I fear we'll soon become slaves. A lot of us won't be beaten again just because one of you wants to do something stupid. I'll beat all of us, Joseph, but should we? Or should, uh, I don't know. What would you But what should we do? Just wait here and be sold as slaves. Long story short, we tried to run during the night. They found us, beat them out of us. End of story. Um. Well, I'm the protagonist, so I'm going to take care of it. Unless you have a freaking brilliant idea or a friend, I'm going to get beaten again. Screw you, I'd rather die than be a slave. We're leaving, I don't know. No, but we're leaving. The stranger smiles slightly. Sure, I'm really curious to see what he does. The bandit approaches you and starts shouting. Shut the fuck up. All of you, we're moving now. Prepare yourselves, it's going to be a long walk. You and all the others brought us. Prisoners start walking. Your mouth is tired. Caravan, constantly the watch, and I'm able to find a way to break free. Day after day, you become resigned to your fate. The bandits are watching you all the time, and they don't even allow you to talk amongst yourself. The villain net gets to know the ones who share your idea. Carlos and April are a couple, and they were in the same group as Joseph, and they got attacked and kidnapped. The young girl, either, seems sad and never speaks. The only thing you're able to discover is that the bandits killed her family. Finally, after walking for several days through the white plain, something happens. The bad thing is that it didn't look like something good, not at all. You see three people 
peacefully approach the bandits, they don't look like common survivors. Even the bandits who assaulted you, despite their abundant resources, are not well equipped. Well, they look pretty darn well equipped for me. Polishing and shiny weapons, high tech equipment. All the bandits look at the three with reserve and all. You've never seen anything like them in the white waste. One of the masters sort of speaks up in a female voice. Proceed with the rest. Let's move on. We have no time to waste. No, I'm not doing female voices because I can't do it very well, so I'm going to insult the female viewers. I'm sure they're good. Some of the prisoners are young and healthy. They'll be perfect for your needs. The woman slowly turns her face to the bandit, stands still for a couple seconds, and then. intimidating silence. We'll see. They approach you and all the other's prisoners and start a medical equipment to take your blood. They take a sample from each of you, they walk away, and after a few minutes they come back. A mysterious woman looks at Gordon and Imrat and then nods at her to her components. We'll take those two and their children. They're the only ones we're interested in. Do what you want with the others. We have no use for them. They walk away to Imrat and their children with them. Graham tries to stand on his feet and protest, but his kick and strength falls to the ground. The mysterious blue train was leaving the companion of the tower, while the diffs appear into the mist. Bandits order you on to feet and start walking. And so you're walking, just like any other day, with armed guards all around you, but you hear some bandits shouting, and soon see what's happened. With 30 hard men, some of the charge of the bandits quickly descending from the top of a small hill. They wear red. These are the red horsemen. Raiders and pillagers appeared in the entire region. The bandits start to shoot them, but the horsemen rapidly approach your position and eager engage your company. Captains in cars come back. Aaron shouts, Let's go now! And breaks into a sprint. You and the other prisoners attempt to escape, while the bandits do busy worrying about their own lives. As you keep running away from your captors, you hear sound of bullets was by one of the bullets hits Joe's in the chest and falls to ground. Well, he did say he didn't want to leave uh, see another view friend's funeral. April stops running and kneels by her companion's body. Joseph, Joseph's gonna stand up. Bam! More mouths to feed, more people to fight. Mm, I'm gonna try and risk. Yeah, but I'm going to drag her and she's probably going to try and knife me. Never mind, look. It depends whether she has a knife. Or you pull April away from the dead body of a common man you hear Carlos' voice. April, run, you dead, run. And you're still being shot at. The bullets pierce the snow around her without hitting him. You're too far away to be an easy target. You see the entrance of the tunnel ahead of you, and your group runs towards it. The captain's on our far behind, still busy with horsemen. Take one look, that's... One last look behind and see no one coming after you. The tunnel is quite light, but after a few minutes you finally see the light. You feel the cold of wind coming from the inside. Well, I have approached the 30 minute mark, so I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I've been Westy987, and I hope you're enjoying the Let's Play first look of LEC Frostbite. Thing. And I will probably do the next one after this, but keep these short because it helps with uploading. You are now free to travel across the plains and explore the world. Hold on, I must watch you. Use the mouse button to the characters and it's hard to talk to you. Okay, so change your You can also heal them if they are injured. The character doesn't cost a single unit of health. So, the more wounded you're carrying out, the less health points you can have during fight. It's very important to equip your companions, otherwise, they'll be useless to fight. You can do this anymore. So, I'm going to save here and end the video. Thanks once again for watching. Take care. Goodbye.